Oh my goodness, today's gonna be so clutch! Now, you don't know why I just said that, but I do, because I know me. Now, that's the topic of uh, my discussion today on my vlog, my actor's log. That's a, holy cow, wait, look at that. There's snow on the ground planning on doing some exploring today. You know, I've been, I've, I've lived in this neighborhood for about 10 years now, but I moved in when I was quite young. You know, I'm only 16. Um, and I've never really, I've done, I've done a little bit of exploring. I've got some favorite places that look pretty cool, but I haven't actually gone and explored. So I'm gonna do some of that today and just see what, see what new things I can find. Some updates on Lord of the Flies. Um, getting closer to the actual filming date. There have been a couple more cast members added to added to the official list. Check it out on Facebook if you're interested in actually seeing who else is going to be in the production. Um, looks like, as, as I'm reading through the book again, I'm realizing um, Ralph's blonde. My character is, is blonde, so I'm going to have to dye, dye my hair, which I've never done before, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. That'll be fun. Why is there snow? There shouldn't be snow anymore. I'm gonna walk to the riverside. So one of the things I've been I've been struggling with is looking. I've been reading over Lord of the Flies, the book, and looking at Ralph's character. I can't I can't really find what motivates him. For Jack Jack Maradu, he's he's clearly motivated just by power. He wants power for power's sake, and that's just about it. He's the kind of person that wants to be in charge. He's a choir boy. He's He's the head of the choir, so in the context of the story, he's got a lot of... He's got, he's got a very clear motivation, a clear end goal. You know what he's going for. Ralph, on the other hand, doesn't really have a motivation. Not, none that I can see. He's a very... He seems like a very... A very vague character, strangely enough. He doesn't seem to have much of a motivation, or none that I can find so far. So I've decided to go, as I'm going through the book, I'm going to, I, as I reread the book, I, I'm going to highlight the lines where he says, we want. Any, any line that, that comes out of his mouth with, we want, I want, I don't want, clarifying what he's going for, what he wants, I'm going to highlight that and see, see if I can draw any motivation from that. So um, I don't know if that if you guys have ever come across challenges like that. If you have, please comment down below. Give me suggestions of what, what you guys have done. Oh, my alarm. I put my iPod there because that's where my microphone is. Let there be light. And there was light. So if you guys have any, I've, if you've read the book, if you've read Lord of the Flies and um, if you're a fan of the characters or you know, you know a good deal about the book, or if you just have uh, an idea of what might be Ralph's motivation, please give me a comment and tell me what you guys think, because I want to do this right. I want to have it, have this part nailed. Today we're talking about character motivation and uh, knowing who your character is and how really incredibly important that is. There we go, almost there at the river. I look down, I'm at the river, but you see, there we go. There's the river. But I'm not at the actual the side of the river. That's over there. But like I was saying, figuring out your character's motivation is uh, one of the biggest parts of preparing for a role. As you prepare for a role, understanding the character's motivation is one of the most important parts. And a lot of that comes from um, who the character is. Um, if they're, if they're, I think this, I can only talk somewhat authoritatively about child uh, child ca characters or young characters because I've only ever played child characters or young characters. Um, but if your character, you know, who's, who's your character's parents? Um, that's a big one. If, if your character's parents are, say, in the military, your character might have a, a very strong sense of justice, what's right and wrong. If your character's parents are, are, um, nurses or things like that, they'll often have, uh, he might have a, a strong sense of, of uh, caring, wanting to care for others. Um, there, and there are several, there are different ways you can take, take a role um, based on 
their background. There are several different ways you can play it. That's actually one of the big things in auditions, figuring out different ways to play, to play a role. Um, even if one, is, one way is the most logical way, sometimes the, the casting directors are looking for someone who, who will put a unique spin on it and make it different than everybody else does it. Hold on, I gotta turn out a focus on. There. Another big one is like where, where they're from or what, what school they've come from, what friends they have, those, all the environmental factors ha play a big role on who your character is. Oh look, birds. Say your, well, I'll we'll go with the American, American stereotype. Um, like the American Valley girl kind of, um, doesn't care, thinks very entitled kind of stereotype that a lot of, that you'll see really um, expressed in different films. What, if you're, if you're playing a character that's supposed to be like that, you still want to give it layers, you want to layer your character, know who your character is and give it, give your character depth. Even if they're supposed to be this really shallow person, you want to know why they're a shallow person. Are they shallow just to be popular with their friends? Are they actually just kind of not all there? Or, or have, you, have they just grown up in a society that, that says that's what you have to be to be, to be an American? Know, know your character's background. What if, what, if you don't, what if your character isn't given a background? That's when it gets a lot of fun, actually. You can play around with your character. You can create your own backgrounds for your character. Uh, if you don't know what, what the characters, where the character com comes from, make a specific choice. That's a big thing in acting, making spe specific choices. Even if you're not given a specific choice to make, make it yourself, especially if you're not given a specific choice to make. Even if they haven't, especially if they haven't made a choice for you, given him a, a background, him or her, your character a background, make a choice for yourself and make that character unique. If you don't know who your character is, no one's going to know who your character is. So get to know your character better than, better than anyone else. Um, I'm a big fan. I'm, I am not good at method acting, but I am a big fan and strive to achieve method actordom. I'm really impressed with actors who do it well and really envelop themselves in the character. Heath Ledger is probably, his performance as, as the Joker in Christopher Nolan's Batman, oh, that's, it's so good because, I mean, he really, he became the Joker himself. That's terrifying. He built, I don't know how many rumors are true, but there, there are rumors that he locked himself in a hotel room for months and just just wouldn't and wouldn't leave developing his character in the hotel room in front of a mirror um i don't know if that's true or not but if it is oh, props to the guy i mean he he just really he he disappears into the character of the joker he does such a good job of it himself um and that's what i that's kind of what i aspire to i want myself to disappear into my characters so that being said You've got to know your character before you can disappear into him. A couple of methods that, that some actors are really split on um, are, or a couple of questions I'd say that actors are split on is whether, whether, character, whether your character should define your dialogue or whether the dialogue should define your character. <laughs> Did you see that? It literally just took the hat off my head. The idea that character should define dialogue. Holy cow, that is really, really wet right there and really slippery. I almost just fell into the lake. Or to the river. This isn't a lake. But you get the point. Moving on. So the concept of dialogue defining characters, or dialogue defining character or monologue defining character is the idea that you discover who you are through what you say. Your char once, once you read the dialogue, then you, you f through that dialogue, you figure out who your character is. Uh, looking at you know, why he said that will give you an idea of who your character is and what kind of character would say that. Now, the idea 
of character defining dialogue is the idea that you should already know your character. Have a specific idea of what your character is, and then once you know who your character is, what your character is, then you can portray the dialogue properly. You'll know how your character would say a line, what, what their motivation behind saying that line is. Again, there comes the motivation, knowing, knowing why. That's, that is the number one most important thing in acting, knowing why. You have to know why your character does something. There's just, there's no way around it. You have to know. If you don't know, then, then figure it out. If you don't know why your character is saying something, then there's no reason for there to be a line there. If there's no reason for there to be a line, it shouldn't be there and your character, your character hasn't expanded to fit the role. That being said, I, I think I, uh, I subscribe a little bit more to the philosophy of character defining dialogue, but there's, there's a little bit of both in it. You're, there's, only, there's only a few ways you can find out who your character is. So one is just plain description. Uh, the your casting director gives you, hires you for the role and says, okay, this is what the character, this is what the character is supposed to look like. This is why, this is who the character is, and you know straight off the bat. There's still absolutely room for, for developing the character and, and figuring out his quirks. Uh, even if you're told who they are, there's definitely room to flesh out. Um, another way, if you're not told, making it up for yourself. Creating an interesting character by by making it, by creating, literally creating, an interesting character. The third way is through dialogue. You, you read the, the, the scene, and then from what they say, you figure out who, who they are and why they said that. I mean, this is, this is one of the most common character exposition techniques ever, in books especially. You would think Pride and Prejudice, especially. Um, Pride and Prejudice is one of the biggest ones that uses dialogue, dialogous exposition. You learn who the character is by what they say. So, there's certainly an aspect to both, both arguments. But if you're given, given a script, you need to know why your character is saying what he's saying. You need to know why your character is saying what they're saying. There's got to be a motivation behind it. I'm going to say it again. You need to know why. So what's the takeaway from all this? Know your character. I think I'm going to make this a thumbnail. Know why! Sorry, is it just me or do I look like, like that scene from Lord of the Rings where the hobbits are hiding down below and then like that? And you've got the, the, the ring wraith up there and the hobbits are all like, ah, and the, the, like the worms start crawling out ah, all over his face and then what is Sam throws the stuff and they run off? That's what goes on in my mind. I didn't go on in yours? You weirdo. So, the main point of this is kind of just to make another vlog, I guess, but the long and the short of this whole thing is know your character. You've got to know why. Non più trai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Look at this. What is this? There is all this fluff everywhere. I don't, I'm kind of concerned. Like, it looks like a bunny massacre over here. I'll protect the bunnies. Bunny carnage will never go on again, not in my kingdom. I will protect them. They will be safe with me. They, oh, by the way, yeah, if you guys don't already, if you don't happen to already be subscribed to Kings of Illusion, go check out uh, Kings of Illusion. It's a channel that I'm a part of. It's a street, it's a street magic teaching channel that I'm a part of. I'm gonna be crossing the street eventually, but I'm gonna hang back for a second. It's a street magic uh, YouTube channel, uh, educational series that I'm a part of spelled K-I-N-G-S-O-F-A-L-L-U-S-I-O-N because um, we wanted to be different. 
and I didn't start the channel, it's not my fault, but um, go check it out, it's, it's pretty cool, and you can see us doing some pretty cool street magic and learn how to do it. Uh, so go check that out. So I... Man, don't that just don't go in there. That was a bad idea. And I'm so ready to go home. But we have to go see the stone TARDIS first because it's awesome. I actually have no idea what exactly it is. I think it's like an electrical house. But down there, if I'm pointing the camera properly, since I've got the screen turned around, I can't see it right now. But down there, if you can see it right, there's a. It looks like a stone TARDIS. I mean, honestly, that's just kind of what it looks like. Right there. You see that? That thing. That's the stone TARDIS. Doctor! 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 He's not answering. But it would be fantastic if the doctor, like David Tennant just popped out, except Matt Smith is a better doctor, but Matt Smith or David Tennant just like all of a sudden poof, popped out. That would be, I uh, would, man, that would be so cool. All right, I tried saying this three times and every time someone's come up and just like started either talking to me or like just looked at me funny and kind of asked me to put the camera down. So let's try this one last time. After these cars pass and stop making all this noise. Really? Hello. Um, just waved to someone in the car. I don't know why they're looking at me weird. Maybe because it's because I'm holding a camera and talking to it. Any anyhow, that's it for today, I think. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, whatever, whatever you feel like doing. Don't do it if you don't feel like it. If it just like, if I'm telling you to do it and you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Just be yourself. Be your own human being. Don't let the world boss you around. But be your own human being. Be as weird as you want. Goodness knows I am. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Ask me a question. If you have any corrections, feel free to comment down below and correct me. If you have any... Ooh, there's a leaf. Um, corrections, questions, suggestions, any acting anything, comment, and I'll see you guys later.